and here we are gentlemen what i'm gonna do today is we're gonna review every special meme nation of kaiser redux we're gonna start out with the imperial of man uh, i really really wanted this is one of the biggest things i want to do in my life i want to beat the imperium of men i really 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 want to beat them dude but they seem to be bucked the game's crashing the imperium is and in a second, you will see the rise of the Imperium. The Emperor of Mankind, which looks... It's going to look very different in a second. Is rising up in Nepal, where he does the Imperial Palace. Uh, unfortunately, it seems to be Buck, man. Uh, and there he is, man. I don't think he looks like this. Even though you don't know how he looks. You don't know. As I said, man, I'm a big Warhammer. And as you can see, his bonuses are completely insane. And if you click here, you know why he's insane. 50% attack, 50% defense. Man, I really want to beat that guy one day. Unfortunately, he's bugged right now. And he declares war on everyone, he kills everyone, unfortunately. I tested this a lot off stream. And on stream yesterday, the game should crash 1st of April. And it seems like this is not playable right now, man. Looking at Tommy K. Luck, though, it's not gonna crash. And thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, heretic. And that is the First Nation reviewed, man. The Emperor of Mankind. One day we're gonna beat him, dude. One gay... One gay? The next nation we're checking out... Where did this? Where did this? The Chinet minus... A lot of social credit. Uh, I, I wanted to play this yesterday, even though Tommy K might be the best 24 player of all times. This might not be possible, man. Let me show you real quick. I actually been thinking about this at night, that you could maybe still beat him with nukes or something if you just defend, but uh, let me show you something. Uh, Xi Jinping is gonna rise up in Beijing. What's up, Beijing? And you're gonna see, and there he is, man. No event about him though, so awkward. No event about him though. He takes Beijing. And there is the Xi Net, Paramount AI. Infinite PP, infinite stability, infinite war support. Created at an unknown date by an unknown group of an unknown propose. Xi Net, as it calls itself, is a rogue entity seemingly hellbent on the complete destruction of the planet. <laughs> Claiming to be fighting for the creation and preservation of the People's Republic of China, Xi Net rejects any and all forms of diplomatic relations, save for a single broadcast played on repeat and spoken in every major language proclaiming the supremacy of communism. Xi Net shall stop at nothing until all Earths have embraced and tasted the glory of the People's Republic, and if that Earth is reduced to radioactive rubble. Unfortunately, I want to play against this guy. I really do. But if you took a, take a, if you take a little check into him, man, you know he's kind of a cheater, bro. What the fuck? That's not even the worst, man. Oh my god. Oh yo yo. And uh, the worst thing. Minus 900 research speed. 1,000% factory output. Okay. Construction speed plus 900. Oh, defense plus 1,000. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately, I can't really play against him. At least he has minus two operative slots, huh? Unfortunately, I don't think I can beat this guy. And he, uh, his focus three, he gets nukes in the end. Judgment day. He gets nukes for free in the first year. This is not so clever by the developers. I mean, sure, make him strong, but not that strong. Make it still possible. A guy in chat yesterday argued, what if it's probably that people want to play him? How is that fun, man? You're literally unbeatable. You're unstoppable. I really think this is a bit weird. It's a funny meme, haha, but... Dude, make him, make him strong, but not over strong. Let, let people fight this guy, right? Now, the next nation I'm checking, I don't know any shit about anymore. Uh, the Emperor and Xinet, I, I understand them. I, I played that before. But now the next one, I have no idea what this is. And we might actually have a real game. Like a real game. I'm playing on regular custom rules. Let's take a look, man. Trotsky's Antarctica. Penguin Invasion. Leon Trotsky lives in Antarctica and seeks to reclaim the world with his penguins. More Adelis. Hundreds of them. They're ready to breed and nothing will stand in their way. Oh, also we finished, uh, we finished this one. This is when Poland can be led by Jesus Christ. We actually have a video about that on the channel, man. Let's check that out. I think he spawns here, right? Is that correct? Guys, is that correct? So I should play, I guess I should play Brazil. Fight him like the Romans did. The Romans were fighting penguins under Leon Trotsky. Something I haven't seen in the history books, man. He doesn't have that many buffs. Play him. Should I test? I mean, we're testing. I'm playing Uruguay and then I text switch to him, okay? Okay, we're playing Trotsky's Antarctica. I played him, he's Giga OP. Well, now one guy says he's Giga OP. The Pale Horse. And I looked and behold, a Pale Horse. And its rider's name was Trotsky. And an army of penguins followed him. Isn't this a poem about death? What the fuck have I done? The revolution from the south. We have received aerial reports of a large horde of animalistic soldiers amassing in the Antarctic. Uh, this mysterious army seems to be heading towards the South Argentina on large icebreakers resembling old Russian Yarmak. Oh shit. Okay, I got a text switch to him. And we are 
Totski and Penguin land. Is he OP though? Okay, it doesn't have focus tree. Okay, I get it. He spawns a fucking mad army of penguins. Penguin Krasnia Ganjandjadja. And they have. <laughs> wow. A respect to the developers. In the new DLC with the commanders, they actually put in penguins. <laughs> they actually put in penguins, bro. The, p the penguin divisions are mostly infantry with. I guess I go with. Let's go with Grand Battle Plan, I think. Fuck it. Okay, that's a lot of research, man. Okay. Then I got the penguin core. Holy shit. I'm at war with this shit. Okay. Please tell me Trotsky is the field that he is. Oh my god. Mikhail Tukanishvensky Georgi Sukov. They even have the clothing, man. He's a little bit strong. A little, little bit. A little bit, man. A little bit. And we got Ivan Konev, Dimitri, all these people, man. Uh, they're, they're all very OP, man. Ivan Konev. First penguin order. Little feet. Oh shit. Oh, I got a big fleet. Oh, fleet name not said. Alfred Richer. The Arctic Fleet. <laughs> oh shit. That's only submarines though. Probably should do concealment then. I can't. Also the nude nudes. Kowalski. Kowalski analysis. Yes, 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 yes. I understand. So let's do this, man. This should be pretty easy, I feel like. You guys walk into Chile while you guys... And before my main island gets invaded, I have so many bonuses, I probably can just go aggressive. Your penguins are ultra fast, though. Here we go. Oh, shit. Can I have 45% movement speed bonus, which is a little bit... A little, little bit... Oh, it's a partial mope. A little bit OP, bro. A little bit OP. If this is too easy, I'm going to restart as Brazil, trying to stop this. Yeah, I might actually restart as Brazil, man. I want to fight this. Argentina has huge debuff. Yeah, still, bro. I don't see anyone else beating me, though. Let's see. Will the US intervene? What the fuck are they gonna do about a bunch of penguins, dude? Maybe... Maybe Mexico. I wonder if there's an event. I really wonder. Uh, I, think if I, I feel like if I play Brazil, this guy shits on me in a second, dude. He can one of them to make it harder. I'm not gonna fake make it harder, man. Uh, like your dad tries all the time with your mom. I feel like Brazil is not a good idea. This guy might kill me by the time... It's February, man, you know? Yeah, it looks like there's no events. Okay, let's fight him. Let's fight him. Let's fight his ass. Okay. A fake after I killed most of South America. There wasn't much to do with Antarctica. Let's fight him then. Let's do it. As Brazil. Let's go. Let's see if I can beat his ass. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. I have to be fast. Because this game will not be long. This guy is coming, man. And his main supply comes from here. So if I fuck up with his naval supply, man. So that's not even the research. I need to build, build, build. Let's do some sifts. Like one row. Two sifts. I'm greedy, I'm doing more sifts. I have six divisions? I don't know. Oh god, guys. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like spamming 20 with, with shovels. Don't even have time for this. I feel like 20 with shovel spam to stop him. I also need to get one steel from America. Because this guy is so strong, I feel like only orcs can help, right? He's probably just running through this, though. I don't know. I might have gone too far. I might actually have to play Mexico. We will see, though. I want to figure it out. In neighboring Argentina, the past few weeks have been troublesome at best. The penguins are all around. <laughs> After a coup d'etat during the Christmas days, the radicals led by Manuel Charles have taken control of Argentina, citing incompetence by the authorities. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Argentina. I should probably be friends with them, though. Because the penguins are all our enemies, man. There's a lot of penguin tension coming my ass. Oh, uh... Shit, the penguins ain't fucking doing it. I think he's not able to invade. I don't think so. I know they have navy, but they only have uh, 60 shitty... Not true, man. If you would have seen the stream, I was just testing, man. They, they, Their submarines cannot go out, man, for some reason. Why is he spreading so slow? You fucking trash, bro. Like Monday hits Brazil. Fuck, no. I think what's going on is that these meme nations don't understand the new updates. And they're all bugged out or some shit. I feel like AI is just fucked because of the new DLC. Let's tag over to him. Yeah, he doesn't use his units. He's fucked. I think he's bugged out, guys. I think he's fucked. Give him one more month, man, and then unfortunately you were kind of fucked here already, man. Maybe I should give these meme nations a high difficulty, which is kind of stupid, man. They're already too strong. And actually, that they can do something, but this seems to be over, man. Let's see if I can invade. I think I can't invade, though. He has a big army here. Wait, I still... Oh, there... I didn't even set up the fleet. I did actually set up the fleet. When, when did I do that? Yeah, yeah, I cannot... He has infinite... Yeah, he has infinite defense here. You cannot... Yeah. But he seems to be bugged out. Unfortunately, that is the Antarctic Commune, man. Next, we have a Fallout. The APCC's multiversal machines work normally, causing no issues. 
Okay, malfunction creating a temporal rift that merges two universes together. Where does it spawn though? What nation should I play? Should I be in America? Should I be... I guess I want to be USA for that shit. Herbert Hoover. A fallout. The fallout scenario. Like, oh, it's happening. What the fuck, Joe, Joe Biden? The APCC metaversal manipulator malfunction scene. Well, shit. Research finished. Nuclear bombs. Zapata! The Zapata paradox. <laughs> Okay, oh, okay, okay, I get it. The Myrlurks are here, I get, okay. In Shanghai, we have the Xi. Okay, the, what the fuck? Check Germany. <laughs> they actually have focus trees, man. What the fuck? Okay, I have 1,000 nukes. We might have a game here, guys. And we finished our third meme start, man. Let's check out another one, man. Let's check out another one. That was sick fun though, man. That was by far the best because it wasn't broken like the others, man. That was very good. The polar bear invasion. John Mayen will not show up in the game. Fuck yeah, he does. Polar bears will rise and Jan Mayen and attempt to take over Earth. Well, the question is once again, are they fucking broken as fuck or can you beat them? That one is Poggers? Should I play him? This is not a Golden Compass reference. It's in Paradox, there's a meme that every Paros game has a Jan Mayen meme. These invasions are made to be extremely overpowered and impossible to beat. Jan Mayen Ice Bears, and I'm no way. I have, to, I have to figure them out first, man. What's going on? They're probably broken as fuck. A bear has landed. A polar bear was spotted randomly wandering around today. <laughs> Determined to be native to Jan Mayen. It and its family have <laughs> have to be moved back. Or we can populate Svalbard with them too. Or we just let them go. What should we do? Becomes controller of Nordland? Okay. I want to play them though. Can I do that? What happens if I don't know? Overnight, a mysterious ship emerged in an unknown place, revealing itself to be cramped with vicious, sentient polar bears. The bears have seized control of the area and plan to take this world as their own. They call themselves the Jan Mayanese after an island near Iceland and Greenland. May the divines help us. Oh, no, I have this one too. Wait, I thought this is Jan Mayan. What? I'm in Svalbard. I'm polar... <laughs> Lord Groor. Okay, I'm Lord Groor, and I have a fucking insane bonuses. But the bonuses are not that crazy. They're not that crazy. The problem is if I, I what we just saw with Brazil, right, and the penguins. If I try to 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 fight them, I think AI is too stupid. I think AI will not know what to do with them. Invasion and no focus tree. Okay, it's fine, fine. Political reform, obviously. The ice bears have to think about politics. I think the problem is normally it start it triggers a war of Norway, man. But how do they even invade? You have no navy. Check the generals. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. We got the Prussian one, the Turkish one, the French one. Very nice. John Smith, Jim White, Johannes Roberts, Lucas Taylor. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. You normally start with a war against Norway, but this is another nation that just invades with good stats. But let's check out the next one. Let's check out the next one. The status of Christmas. Oh shit, boys love- I love Christmas, man. Santa brought gifts to all the good boys and girls of the world. Not you guys. In exchange for milk and cookies, just as he does every year. What the fuck? Much to the sadness of children everywhere, Santa failed to appear, causing strife and chaos throughout the world, especially in his workshop. What? Uh, let's try Sweden here. The Christmas events. I have genuinely no idea. I would think something spawns in the north. Okay, okay, okay. What the fuck is the Christmas event? I don't have... I genuinely don't have a clue, man. I've never seen this before. The Kaiser Redux focus trees are so ridiculously good, man. They are so good. Less than a week ago, on December 25th. That was a week ago, yeah. 1935. Children all across the world awoke to what should have been a happy, wholesome day of fun, peace, love, and merrymaking. Merrymaking? Sounds like fucking. Instead, however, children all around the globe woke not to presents. To not filled socks, but to nothing. Cookies and milk that had been left out for Santa Claus went uneaten. And that holiday spirit and joy was replaced by anger and depression. Many are wondering if we should simply give in to just stop the noise. Others, ardent believers in Santa themselves, are pushing hard for us to investigate the happenings in the North Pole. Fearing that something must have happened to Santa Claus. Dude, do you think there's an adult on this planet that still believes in Santa? Probably. Like, it, there's probably an adult on this planet. He's kind of normal, but still believes in Santa. It probably exists, man. Santa will remain missing, and all the children of the world shall weep at its loss. Santa's workshop shall spawn, and shall attempt to find Santa himself. We shall help find Santa. Wait, what? <laughs> That's cool. Wait, where am I? <laughs> That's cool. Santa's workshop. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's fucking sick, dude. Where Santa lives according to Redditors all over the world. In their own country, Lapland region of Finland. 
other region. Well, he obviously is from the North Pole. He, who the fuck will think he doesn't live on the North Pole? You stupid? Social Democrat? Oh shit, socialist. Well, he wants everybody to be equally treated. Especially the nice kids, the subscribers, the non-subs. Ah, I'm Mrs. Claus though. That's nice. Ha ha ha. We, we gotta make, we're not gonna make Christmas. We gotta make Christmas happen. Christmas! Look at that! Christmas in the house, boy. Christmas in the house. Goddamn, so cool. I have, first of all, Yeti problems. Since Santa's disappearance, the usual calm and collected Yeti population of the North Pole has become quite unruly. While the abominable still strikes fear into the hearts of all men, his kinfolk have also begun harassing our elven workers. Spirit of Christmas. The workshop located at the very top of the Christmas, top of the world at the North Pole, is the heart of the Christmas spirit. Without us, Christmas as we know it would not exist. Disastrous impact over Santa's loss. Oh. Since last year, the one and only Santa Claus has been missing. Due to his absence, the workshop has entered a period of chaos due to his loss. If he isn't found soon, Christmas as we know it may be over for good. We gotta save Christmas, man. I have one sif. That's good. Oh, shit. That is, this, that is the stuff. That might be my favorite focus stream, man. How the Grinch stole Christmas. Was it the Grinch? Is this a spoiler? Was it fucking the Grinch? Erecting Santa's new workshop. The disappearance of Santa Claus has caused ripples of grief and panic throughout all our workforce. At this rate, we won't have all the toys and goods ready for Christmas. To alleviate this, we will create a new workshop to take the elves' mind off the strategy. More work is gonna make them more happy, just like in real life, man. If you're sad that someone died, just go to work, man. Workshop into 1946. Santa is missing and chaos reigns across the North Pole. What should be a time of joy and time of cheer is now naught but ash and cinders. The elves have un unionized and risen as one united front, the Elfentariat. Under comrade Mariah Carey, <laughs> and seek to bring epic and totalized communism to these frozen wastes. The false toy Santa and his army of giant nutcrackers under the toys clique sit in exile, ready to seize the chance to reclaim the workshop and to bring coal to old children. <laughs> and the Grinch sits high on his mountaintop, looking down upon the chaos of hungry and greedy eyes. The last grouping of Santa loyalists are rallied around the crumbling authority of Mrs. Claus, and unless Santa's found soon, all will be lost. The toyest clique, eclectic concordat of ice, the good reindeer party, disbelievers of the North Pole, Santa Claus Marketing Association, Santa Claus Restoration Group, Santa Claus Restoration Group, Jolly Union of Elven Workers, the truest advance of everlasting heat. This might be the coolest focus tree of all so far, man. Let's follow the focus tree, man. Oswald Mosley, you're getting cold this year, sir. You're getting cold this year. Polar Express, or call in the Bailey Brothers, built and loan. The what? And I'm Clay Bailey. The, the Bailey, Bailey Brothers. Brothers. Saying shop early for Christmas and save. At the Bailey Brothers Music Company. I'm Paul Bailey Jr. And I'm Clay Bailey. The Bailey Brothers. Are this guy famous enough to make it into this focus stream? Man, fucking hell, respect, bro. The Bailey Brothers, built and loan company, have assisted Santa and the North Pole numerous times when we lack the capital and resources necessary to make large projects. Let's get... A civilian factory. Thank you, Bailey Brothers, man. Shout out. We only have Mrs. Santa. She's holding strong, man. But the fascist toys clique is coming for us, bro. We gotta be ready. Okay, focus tree looks amazing. Look how every focus has a beautiful picture. If the Grinch steals Christmas, I can play this. Or if Santa comes back. Wait, I get woggles on everyone. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> if Santa is back, you can annex everybody. Fuck, Santa Claus embrace Chris kind? We could go with Jim Carrey's Grinch, man. The Grinch becomes the leader of the Social Democrats, declares war on the whole world. Unfortunately, we are not able to bring all of the North Pole's industrial might to the new workshop. Large amounts of heavy machinery were unable to be transported, but we were able to bring all of our nutcrackers. Yet, all we use these machines for is nutcracking, when they have the potential to be used in a wide array of operations. Why not innovate a little? Technocratic Santa Claus, man. Christmas tree export service. Once two sifts. Very nice. Minus five consumer goods. And then we should find Santa. Here we go, the hunt for Santa. The disastrous impact of Santa's loss calms down. My my shit gets much better. Even if Santa is missing, there's no time to be cringe. Christmas must go on. We have to prepare for Christmas. It's October, bro. Holy shit. Holy shit. The hunt for Santa. The time has come. We must finally embark to sweep the magical realm in order to find Santa. That took you a year, man. We must now decide who we shall turn to in order to find help in this quest. But must be very as we may be beholden to wherever we choose. Well, chat, you can't just sit there and watch, man. You gotta fucking decide yourself. I don't fucking know what we're gonna do here. Okay, boys, what do you think? 
Find Santa ourselves. 74%. Find Santa ourselves. What's gonna happen? Where is he? Oh, the Grinch! <gasps> the Grinch. He's doing something. Piece of shit, motherfucker, man. I'm gonna fucking shoot him in the head. Calling himself the Grinch, he has offered a hand in helping us find Santa. However, many of our party are wary of such an offer. What should we do? Should we trust the Grinch? As you guys love me playing Hitler 4, I wonder what you guys are voting for. You guys said no? Wow! We're not. Wow, I was. Dude, you guys love me playing Hitler in this game. But the Grinch? No, no. no. Hitler is fine, but the Grinch? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus is found. Holy shit, baby. Praise all the gods of winter, old and new. We have found Santa at last. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. <laughs> that, that could be me one day, I swear to God, man. In our darkest hour, in our time of need, Santa has returned. Let's make sure this doesn't happen again. Bypass, baby. Cookies and milk. I get a big ass economy, bro. <laughs> Cookies and milk, Habibi. Uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Low impact over Santa's loss. I'm getting very strong now. When Santa went missing, the naughty or nice list became uncertain. We don't know who managed to get their hands on the list and Santa disappeared. Time to ask the man himself. Santa should have the best paratroopers. That actually makes a lot of sense. Santa has never been one for communication. Sometimes the letters sent to Santa are lost in transit and never reach him at all. This cannot be for Santa spreads joy to all the little children of the world that want Ninjago for Christmas. We will establish a North Pole poster system. Oh, I'm making a better post system. You get free 1,000... Okay, I'm getting... Each year more children write to Santa and Santa's slate simply cannot keep up. We have to write nukes. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Today is the day while there was a rocky road to get here. Preparations are done. I can kill the whole world. <laughs> I have no divisions, man. What the fuck? What a weird way to end the focus tree. Yeah, go ahead, player. Build your own shit, bitch. <laughs> General Secretary Comrade Santa. Let's see what happens here. Kaiser Reich has, Kaiser Redux especially has so much content. Man. What do you want to do? I just think I'd warn the whole planet, man. But why only some? Such a weird development. Why only some of them? Well, that's the focus tree, guys. <laughs> I ain't gonna do much else, man. The Grinch. He gets just uh, bonuses. He gets air bonuses. Yeah, you just take a war on Cuba. I don't... Yeah, it's kind of the same, man. Anyway, boys, that was Santa. We saved Santa, man. We saved Christmas. You will get some presents this year. Some socks from your grandma. Very nice. We did a lot of reviews. And tomorrow, I think I can hopefully finish the reviews of all the meme nations. We're going to finish that tomorrow. We still have some left.